Hi guys and welcome to another video. Now the DJI Pocket 2 camera is a very nice little small camera and one of my favourites to use. Now I've been using this camera for well over a year now for travelling and vlogging and little bits and stuff like that. But is it any good for capturing driving videos? You know where you put the camera on the front of the bonnet of the car, or on the roof of the car, and you want to capture what you see. Now, of course, it's a gimbalized, stabilized camera, so it could be quite useful for that. But is it any good? Let's find out in this video. And welcome guys to this video. Now, before we get started, I'd just like to say that if you're new to this channel, welcome, I'm a very small channel, but I appreciate you stopping by and watching my videos. Of course, if you are particularly interested in the content of these videos, which is basically some photography related and videography related equipment and reviews, then hang out and watch my videos. And if you like them, of course, please consider subscribing. All right, with that out of the way, let's now start the video. Okay, so here we are in my car here, and, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to position this Pocket 2 in three different places, or a few different places. One will be basically holding it on the dashboard, and we're just going to position it, whoops, smash the camera. Um, we're going to position it on the dashboard of the car, and then what we're gonna do is we're actually going to have a selfie stick and hold it out of the window, and the next position will be to actually use this special magnetic mount here to position it on the bonnet of the car, and then maybe also the roof of the car. And then I'm going to transport myself and magically from this rather gray area in the UK, magically discreet, to actually drive through there to see what the footage is like. All right, so with no further ado, let's start the very first test. So the very first test will simply be a baseline, and that will be to take a mobile phone, and I'm just going to hold it in the front of the car by the windscreen as normal, just capturing the driving as we're going along. And that's going to see how shaky the footage is from a normal mobile phone. So we've got something to compare it against. Okay, so as you can see, the footage is pretty nasty, pretty shaky. So let's see if we can improve upon that. So we're going to now take the Pocket 2, and we're just simply going to hold it at the front of the windscreen like so, to record the footage and see what it's like uh, through the windscreen. Now I expect the windscreen may actually have um, some effect on the picture quality, but at least it's going to get an idea on how well the footage is stabilized. All right, let's do it. Okay, so for the next test, I'm gonna take the DJI Pocket 2 and attach it to the extension rod. Now this is the extension rod that comes from DJI, specifically for the Pocket 2, but any other selfie stick will do, of course. I'm gonna take the extension rod and push the camera out of the window towards the front of the car, like so. Now, of course, when I'm actually doing it for real, safety first, we'll be using a passenger on the other side of the car to do it through that window there rather than the driver doing it, of course. Let's have a look at the footage and see how it compares through the footage that we did through the windscreen. Okay, so the next test is I'm going to take the Pocket 2 again on the extension rod, but rather than hold the extension rod towards the front of the car, I'm going to hold the extension rod towards the roof of the car, above the roof of the car, in order to be able to avoid seeing the bonnet of the car in the footage. All right, let's give that a go and see how that looks.
Okay, so for the very next test, I'm going to take the Pocket 2 and attach it to this little magnetic holder here. So it's just a normal magnetic holder that you can get very cheaply from Amazon and places like that. And I'm going to position that on the bonnet of the car and see what that result looks like. All right, let's find out. Okay, so that's the test done. So let's now go back to the computer and review the footage and discuss which of the actual footage looks best. All right, so the first test, while the Pocket 2 is much better than the iPhone already, it's not great footage as the bonnet of the car is too distracting. Also, the windscreen is affecting the contrast and the shadow of the car is pretty large, so also very distracting. Now onto the second test, with the selfie stick out of the window, it's certainly much better than the previous test. But the bonnet is um, still there, but although it's not quite so distracting, and it could actually be cropped out if necessary, but I'm pretty sure we can improve it further. So now onto the next test, and with the selfie stick above the roof, it's even better still. So there's no distracting bonnets of the car, the stabilisation of the Pocket 2 is fine. So as the car goes around the corner, the gimbal does take some time to react, but that's what we would expect. I say this footage is pretty usable. Lastly, we're looking at the magnetic mount on the bonnet, so the footage is also great. There's no distracting bonnet or shadow. Obviously it's much more convenient having the Pocket 2 on the bonnet without having to hold the selfie stick or if there's no passenger available and you're on your own filming. So I hope you've enjoyed that video and that's my thoughts. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below and I shall see you soon on another video.